Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to the 89th AGM of uh, FICI and the National Business Summit. And I do hope what will be a very interesting uh, 45 minutes on the economy. So this year, 2016, clearly has been a very challenging one for the global economy. A weak recovery, scattered, and assessments made by various agencies point towards undercurrents that can manifest into full-blown risks going ahead. The year has witnessed two key global events. You know them, but I shall reiterate that the ramifications of the Brexit referendum and the result of the US presidential elections are both events which we, all of us, will have to be watching closely. Now, closer to home, the decision of our government on demonetization, which is absolutely the big elephant in the room and will be touched on today by the panel, is an issue which has bearings on the economy and the way all of us work going ahead. In fact, November 8th night, when all these events happened and unfolded, I was in Berlin for a big event, and one of the leading economists in the world opened it by saying that two large democracies in the course of that night had gone from black to white. So, Hopefully, that is where India goes, from black to white. On the growth front, India has not remained unaffected, clearly. Uh, we have global headwinds and issues for concern, but also much cause for celebration as the underlying economy hopefully gets right back after the next two quarters to high growth rates. So as we go into the discussion, over the next uh, hour, 45 minutes, that what are these mega trends that define growth in the coming times? And some of the issues which I hope get touched on include everything to do with the issues around energy efficiency and water, which are subjects which are very much in vogue. And the conversation on renewables, as you know, in India is at a very high level. Businesses clearly are coming under pressure around the world and also here to reduce our carbon footprint. Then demographics. With increasing urbanization, demographics are changing and consumer markets that are new are emerging. A third big trend, technology and innovation, are disrupting the way we go about our lives. And we heard this morning on how the whole area of mobile payments and digitization begins to lead the way in India. But it's not just India. All around the world, these are very big trends. In fact, I was quite struck by the fact that digital marketing, uh, marketing has been growing at 14% a year at a global level, and it will hit US dollars 216 billion by 2018, so in the next couple of years. So these are huge trends. And all these developments have bearings on companies, on businesses. And through this session, we hope to explore some of these and related themes and understand what more is in store for us. So we have with us today Mr. Sanjeev Sanyal. He is an internationally acclaimed economist and best-selling author. He was named Young Global Leader in 2010 by the World Economic Forum and was Deutsche Bank's global strategist and a managing director till 2015. He's a well-known environmentalist and urban theorist. In 2007, he was awarded the Eisenhower Fellowship for his work on urban dynamics and was honored by the Singapore government at the World City Summit 2014. He has been a visiting scholar at Oxford University, adjunct fellow at the Institute of Policy Studies Singapore, and a senior fellow of the World Wide Fund for Nature. Currently, he serves in the Future City Committee of the Singapore Government, 
tasked with writing a long-term vision for the city-state. We also have with us Mr. Siddharth Zarabi, who is the executive editor of BTVR and one of the leading media personalities in India, a technology enthusiast. He's a master's in business administration who chose journalism as his calling in life. So honored to have both of you here. I'm going to hand over now to Siddharth to moderate and indeed run the session with you. Thank you so much.